Good morning, everybody. Let's start with our Pilates class. Uh, this class is very popular in Drishti, and it's one of those ones that I make a whole combination between barre, Pilates, yoga, and it's just a good, a good wake up and a stabilization of your body. So we're going to start first understanding position on your feet. I always repeat it, and it's all good. Especially if you're starting, we're going to begin into first position and you're going to go on the back end of your mat. So you have all the mat to go forward. And right here, just bring the shoulders on the next inhale up. Pilates breath, exhale. You can do a slight exhalation from your mouth. <sighs> Tighten up the core like you're belting yourself, like you're sewing your abs. One more time, take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, really squeezing bellies. Inhale, breathe. And on the exhale, squeezing into your abs. One, two, and three. Good. And last time, take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, focus on the exhale, really tightening up into your belly. Now let's open your arms. On the next inhale, bring both shoulders up to the ears. And on the exhale, bring the shoulders back and down. Inhale, shoulders go up, up, up. Exhale, shoulders back and down. And last time, inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down. Right ear over the right shoulder. We use a lot of this part in Pilates, so let's warm up first. And bring now the right hand over the head, left arm straight by your side. And you're going to count three breaths in here, really working in all the ligaments and tendons by your neck and muscles. Open your mouth, release the jaw, continue your Pilates breath. The entire class, your focus on the way you breathe. Remember, we pulse, we do five and five, three and three. Release, take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, let's rotate the head all the way back down. And the same thing exactly. Just go and have your head in a little bit of a stretch. Take another inhale, and on the exhale, release your hand, bring the chin into your chest. Inhale, breathe, and on the exhale, pick up your neck, pick up your head, inhale, arms up. First scoop, first roll, exhale, really working like you're going to dive on a pool. Scoop on your belly, feel all your back opening, lower back, mid back, upper back. Take a deep inhale right here, squeeze the inner thighs, and on the exhalation, we're going to go from bottom to top, rise, squeeze onto the belly, go up, up, up. Take a deep inhale, bring your arms up one more time, connect. On the exhalation, bring yourself forward, forward, really stretching into your back muscles, squeeze the inner thighs, take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, roll up, roll up, all the way, all the way. Inhale one more time. And on the exhalation, you're going to scoop. Come all the way forward. Really work on the belly. Open your lower back. Stay right here where you are. Let your arms relax. Let the head relax. Squeeze the inner thighs. And just do a little bit of loosening into the shoulders with circles. It's almost like pendulums. They're oscillating. There's no tension, your arm's absolutely droopy, and you're going to notice if one arm has more tension than the other. Right here, try to bring them parallel and let them hang almost the same way, and then go to the other side, loosen up into your shoulders. Breathe. Keep scooping, no pain on your lower back. You're not going to straight spine, this is not yoga. Take a deep inhale right here. And on the exhale, we're going to roll up, roll up, roll up. And we start with push-up flows. Inhale, go up. And on the exhalation, we're going to curl forward, forward, and down. Remember, you're on the end of your mat since the beginning. Open your feet hip width apart. And you walk into elephant on the next inhale with your spine still curl. Of course, you can bend your knees if you need to. If not, legs straight. 
right here and go into nice push up. Let's spend a moment in here. Alignment, hands underneath the shoulders, feet underneath the knees and lift up your head, push away. Right here. Now on the next inhale, we're gonna bring the right knee in towards you. And on the exhale, the right leg is gonna go back. Inhale, left knee in towards you. Exhale, leg back. Five times, inhale, exhale. Don't move, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, and last time in and out. Whew. Inhale, go up. A little bit of different variations and push-ups today. And on the exhalation, walk your hands back, back, and back. Now bring your heels touching, toes open, and take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, roll up. Roll up, squeeze into your belly, tighten up your zipper all the way up. Good. Next variation of push-up, novelties today. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhalation, scoop, curl forward, forward, and down. Open your feet hip width apart, and on the next inhale, we're going to walk your hands forward, walk, 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 and on the exhale, level your pelvis with your shoulders and with your heels. Now, we're going to walk in the push-up, but only the upper body, the whole point in here is the bottom part stays still. Take a deep inhale in center, and we're going to start walking to the right on the exhale. One, two, and three. Finish with your hands shoulder width. Level your pelvis to the center so you can feel your obliques. Now take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to walk center. One, two, and three. Holding there, inhale, and on the exhale, walk, two, and three. Three, inhale, pelvis stay center, inhale, breathe, exhale, walk, walk, walk. One last round, inhale, exhale, walk, walk, and walk, that's it, level the pelvis, inhale, exhale, walk, walk, and walk, inhale, and last inhale, exhale, over to the left, walk, walk, and slowly, let's inhale and exhale back to center. Walk, walk, and walk. On the next inhale, lift up the seat bones. On the exhale, still an elephant. Walk back, back, and back. Bring your heels touching. First position, inhale. And on the exhale, roll up. Ah, ha, ha. Good one, feeling the burn into your shoulders, nice. Now one more time, take a deep inhale, lift. And on the exhalation, we're gonna scoop and curl, curl, curl. Open your feet hip width apart. And on the next inhale, you're gonna walk the hands forward, forward, forward. Back to your push up, we're gonna work obliques now. Take a deep inhale, right knee outside the right elbow. Only the leg moves, inhale back, other side, exhale, inhale back, exhale, inhale back, exhale, inhale back, exhale, inhale back, exhale, inhale, exhale, closing, inhale, left side, exhale. Inhale, go back, exhale into your beautiful elephant. Scoop the belly, take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to walk back, 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 and back. Take a deep breath in here. And on the exhale, we're going to roll up, up, and up. And we're going to have two more variations with dips. Be careful on the shoulders. Learn to stabilize. Inhale. And on the exhale, scoop. Come forward, 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 and down. Open your feet hip width. And on the next inhale, walk your hands forward. On the exhalation, level yourself nicely. Good. Heels, shoulders, pelvis aligned. Right here, Chaturanga style, micro bends. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lift. Head up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last, inhale. Exhale. The next inhale, go up again. On the exhale, walk. Back, back, 
back, back, heels touch, toes open, inhale, and on the exhalation, we're going to come up, 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 inhale, boot camp style push up, inhale, breathe, on the exhalation, we come forward, forward, and down, open your feet, and on the next inhale, let's walk, 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 and walk. Right here when you're ready. Nice. Open your hands. Elbows open to the sides, hands underneath the shoulders, elbows bend sideways. Inhale, exhale. Head level, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And last time, inhale and exhale. Bring your hands right there. On the next inhale, lift up the seat bones. And on the exhale, walk back, back, back. Bring your heels touching, toes open, deep breath in. And on the exhalation, let's come up. <sighs> How are you feeling? Move your hands a bit. Prepare your hands. We're going to go to the most difficult of all. The next one is a side plank with movement. So you really need to have the stabilization of your core. I'm starting with the hardest part so we don't have to worry about later, okay? So let's take a deep inhale. Go up. This is advanced core work. Exhale, come forward and down. Careful with the wrist. Open your feet. Inhale, walk walk, walk, and keep yourself in a little bit of an incline to a uh, downer dog or elephant right here. And now you're going to bring your feet touching and together. Good. And when you're ready on the next inhale, come a little bit forward. Bring the right hand into the center of your mat. Turn your pelvis sideways and bring your arm up. Now see if that top leg can comes off the ground. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, elbow and knee touch. Inhale, straight. Exhale, elbow, knee, touch. Oopsie. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale, close. Hands down underneath the shoulders. Only three. This is really hard. We don't want to irritate the shoulder. And right here, lower hand goes. Then you come forward. Level yourself. Hand underneath the shoulder. Lift. Right there, when you feel stability, pick up the arm, pick up the leg. Inhale. Exhale, go in, inhale, exhale, in, inhale, exhale, in, inhale, open, exhale, go into plank position, inhale, go up, exhale, we're going to walk back to elephant, one, two, and three, heels touch, inhale, breathe, ah, exhale, go up. <sighs> Oh, feeling those arms, feeling the chest. Let's go and continue on. I dream of genie. Like to call it here. This is a beautiful fitness test. You cross your ankles. Careful with the knees. Not meant for everybody. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna bend your knees. Sit bones back. Arms forward. Sit down slowly. Don't go fast. Or try not to go fast. Arms forward, inhale, and on the exhale, push up, 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 up. Inhale, and on the exhale, go down, 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 and down. Sit down all the way there. Now slowly inhale, exhale, go up, up, up. You can start with a chair behind you if this is too hard. Release the arms, bring your feet hip width apart. What happened to right must always happen to left. So we got one side master, right? Let's see what happened to the other side. Cross the other way. Whatever arm you always get on top, change them. That's it. Take a deep inhale. Don't mind if I fall. Exhale. Go down. This is not my side, so I feel wobbly, and it's okay. Inhale. And on the exhale, go up. Up. Up, up, inhale, breathe, exhale, sit forward, and down, 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 
Last time to be even. Inhale, exhale, go up, up, up. And we're going to finish on the ground. Good job. Inhale. Sit down, exhale, all the way down, down and down. Woohoo! The best news you have today, you're done with this. Release your arms, release the legs, shake it up a bit. Now, the next one is very technical. I think this is the Achilles tendon for a lot of my students. We're going to roll back and forward. We call it crab or seal. And I'm going to teach beginner, intermediate, and advanced variation. We're going to flow. If you're already an in intermediate, you can go ahead and grab it. So here, the key is not to flow flat and the ground, because that's going to hurt and knock the wings out of your lungs. So first things first, you take a deep inhale. Straight spine for now. And from the exhale, from the perineum to the lower back, to the mid-back curl. You are here sheltering your neck so you never land with the crown. You bring your chin a little bit forward, and you're down here. And now you're going to pick one leg off the ground and then the other. Good. Now, when you're ready, take a deep inhale. And on the exhalation, we're going to go back into that beautiful inhale. Come up. Sorry, I got the breath wrong. You inhale to go back. And the exhale is the toughest part. You come forward and hold. Inhale, we go back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, you go back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, we go back. Exhale, forward. Next level. Grab the ankles. Don't pop at the end. You can stay right where you were. Inhale, go back. Exhale, forward. Holding there. Scoop the body. Now you can clap. Clap, clap. Inhale. Clap, clap. Exhale. Clap, clap. Inhale. Exhale. Last variation. Staying up here. This is not for everybody. Taking up into your full extension. Curl the spine so you can come back. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to come back. Really scoop, scoop, scoop. Inhale. Don't roll into the neck. Exhale. Come up and stay up here for a moment. Inhale. Control the exhale. Hold a little bit there. Squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. Up. Inhale, exhale up, and now hold, hold. You haven't become straight. You can see how right now my spine maintains that beautiful scoop, but I'm not hunching. Scooping doesn't mean hunching on your upper body. Scooping means having a full control of your back and your belly without hunching. Breathe. Hold on, hold on, smile to the camera. Although the smile is a little bit difficult right now, I'm really working. Last level, release. Another three breaths, you can do it. Point your toes, really working in here. This is a little bit of a more intermediate class today. Take another inhale, and on the exhalation, let's go down and butterfly. Good effort, nice, deep breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna go down, down, down. And take three breaths here, still with your back scoop and curl. We're going to do extensions next, so don't worry. The spine is going to get the beautiful length. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, roll up, roll up, and roll up. Take your right hand to the side, the legs behind you, and go down into your belly. We're going to do our session in swimming, right? Now open your feet hip width apart. Extend your arms in a beautiful triangular shape because your back escalates to a triangle from the lower back to the shoulders. So we try to keep this. Plug the shoulders in and just lift that for a moment right here and press the pubic bone down to the ground. Good. Right here, take a deep inhale. You're going to bring right arm, left leg. On the exhale, you switch and do the other side. This is how swimming goes, right? One side and the other. Now, the next thing we're going to do, stay here for a moment, is learn to pulse. In, out, in, out, to do full swimming. If this is too much for you, please, you can do it slowly. Now, on the next inhale, we're going to put hands off the ground, legs off the ground. And on the exhale, we start pulsing. One, two. One, 
two, one, two, one, two. Swim. Coordination. Pause. Resist. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, go up. Superman, hold. Hold. This is a warm up for the next one. Take another inhale. And on the exhale, come down, bring your forehead into your palms and take a breath in neutral spine. Now let's look to the right side into your chin, right there, chin to the right, lie on your cheek right here. And right here, you're gonna bring also right hand on top of the left behind you. And everybody here needs to learn to stabilize shoulders. If you're not aware of your shoulders, the shoulders are going to go and touch the ground. This is how the shoulders look not stabilized. Put the shoulders back and down. This is the whole point of this, okay? Legs are straight. Good. On the next inhale, you're going to come up, lift the legs, extend the arms, unwind the chest to center. Two, exhale, bend the knee. One, two, inhale, extend up straight again. Cross the hand the other way. And look to the left side and come down. This is a wonderful one to learn to stabilize. Let's do it again. Inhale, you go up, rise, extend. On the exhale, you bend. Uno, dos. Classic Joseph Pilates. Inhale, grow up. Nice. Exhale, other way and come down. Inhale, go up, extend the arms. Exhale, uno, dos. Inhale, straight. Exhale, go in line to the other side. Careful with the shoulders when you lie down. Inhale, last time, go up. Exhale, boom, boom. Inhale, ah. Exhale, finish to the right side. Good. And on the next inhale, we're going to release your hands by your sides. And on the exhalation, we're going to bring your hands right underneath the shoulders. Take a deep inhale, go up and have two breaths in child's pose, letting your spine be round. Hmm. Today we're working with a little bit more pace. We're gonna get it done and in 40 minutes around. Breathe. Bring your hands right underneath the shoulders. Good. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, let's bring yourself back up, 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 lift up. And now let's roll over to the side. Bring the legs in front of you. We're going to only use one full roll down to go on the ground. Legs straight in front of you. We're preparing for hundreds. Take a deep inhale, arms in front of you. And on the exhalation, we're going to curl down, 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 down. And bring yourself down. Right here, when you're ready, bring the legs extended. Learn to balance your spine. You don't want to be completely off the ground like I'm over-exaggerating right now. You want to have some stability into your upper back, but don't flatten right there into the sacrum. Your sacrum needs to have a natural curve. Now take a deep inhale, and on the exhalation, pick up your legs into beautiful tabletop. And from tabletop, level into the coccyx. Maybe the coccyx need to go farther down to the ground. And that will make you work a little bit deeper in your transverse. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, go into frog position. And frog position is right here. Arms by your sides. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, pick the legs up. Bring your upper body. Rise. And uh, hundreds, five inhales from exhales. Gallops of breath, lifting the chest, arms by your sides. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. Halfway in, two, three, four. Out, one, two, three, four. 
in. One, two, three, four. Out. One, two, three, four. 20 more. In. Two, three, four. Out. One, two, three, four. In. One, two, three, four. Out. One, two, three, four. Inhale. 100. Exhale. Go down. Hi, yeah, yeah. Relax your neck for a moment right here. Good. Bring the legs down to the floor. Look to the right side for a moment. Let the neck relax like you're nodding. <sighs> Especially if you feel tension in the ligaments of your neck. Make sure that doesn't happen. It will take time to get used to it. Now look to the left side again and let the neck relax into the left side also. <sighs> And on the next inhale, we're going to return onto the center right here. Into the center. Let's go into the next one. We're going to do a little bit of butterfly and hugging the knees into your chest. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, you're going to bring your forehead up right there. Arms peripheral view. The head doesn't go down. The legs open in first position. Inhale, arms peripheral view. Exhale, hug in. And do this cannonball. Inhale, head and chest doesn't move. Exhale. Inhale, number three. Exhale. Inhale, number four. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep up the head. Inhale. Exhale. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, and last 10. Inhale and exhale. Place your head on the ground and let it rest for a moment. Ooh, don't feel tension on the neck. Please relax the neck. Feet underneath the knees, arms by your sides. Let's do something relaxing for the neck so we don't end up class a little bit uptight. Spinal lift. Feet underneath the knees, take a deep inhale. And on the exhalation, we're going to go up from low back to mid back. Going up, 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 rising up. Good. On the next inhale, we're going to bring your arms up to the ceiling, nice and tall. On the exhale, we're going to bring the arms by your sides, scooping and tummy. Inhale one more time. A little bit of a faster workout today. Exhale down. Cardiovascular. Don't drop the glutes. Don't disengage your belly. Inhale. And on the exhale, put your hands down. Stay up with the seat bones. Center yourself. Level yourself right when you're ready. Inhale. Bring the right knee into your chest. And that, don't let the left leg open sideways. And on the exhale, bring the leg up to the ceiling right there. And do five circles. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale. Exhale, leg down. Now center yourself, don't rush. Inhale, left knee to your chest. Exhale, leg up, point the toe, and draw five circles. One, two, pulse, three, four, and five. You're not done, inhale. Exhale, leg down, center yourself, take a breath, level. Now you're gonna circle the other way each leg. Inhale, right knee into your chest. Exhale, leg up. Opposite direction, you went the first side, pulse. One, two, three four and five inhale exhale leg down switch legs inhale bring the other leg up point exhale one two three four and five inhale exhale legs down don't let it go just yet inhale exhale go all the way down all the way down gently gently glutes to the ground beautiful Okay, how we doing? Cross the ankles, take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, we're gonna go up, up, and up. <sighs> we are going to finish with one side each, single leg breath. So in this one, when you do single leg stretches, breath by breath, in, out, in, out. So it looks like this. Always the hand outside, it contains the ankle so the knee can point directly at your shoulder and you don't end up this way. 
The other leg, the one is straight, is going to reach out forward. Let me show you one, and then you can join me. Take a deep breath. You curl spine on the exhale, head off the ground again. You're being careful with that. You scoop, and right here, inhale, change. I'm going to do it in slow motion right here, and on the exhale, change. Okay? So doing faster will be one, two, one, and two. So I'm going to go up. So we start at the same time. You take a deep breath in here. And on the exhalation, we're going to curl, scoop, scoop, scoop. And right here, take a deep breath. And on the exhale, change. In, out. In, out. In, out. In, out. In, out. In, out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, swing your leg, exhale, come up. Okay, take a moment right here and circle your neck for a couple moments. You don't go back ever, the circle oscillates in the same angle. If you let the head go back, you might put more tension in it and over circles to the other side, like you're drawing circles with your nose, making sure you're not putting too much tension in your jugular and the ligaments on your neck. Now stop right here. I'm going to show you double leg stretch. Double leg stretch, you work with the both legs, and you're going to do two by two. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. This is my favorite, by the way. So when you are ready, you go back. And you go in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. Head up. One, two. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. Out, out. Five. Four, three, two, inhale, and on the exhale, roll up and sit up. Oh, the neck. A lot of time with your head in this position. Let's stretch in the other way. Bring your hands behind you. Fingertips to the back of the room or towards you, whatever feels best. Bench your knees. Holding here, take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, lift up your glutes. Reach pose. Wonderful. Elevate the hips. Chin tuck in. Grow to the back of the neck. Keep lifting. Keep lifting. Don't give up. Good. Take another inhale, rise. And on the exhalation, we're going to let yourself go down and down. And one more time, you're going to release into the hands, letting the legs go together in this position right here. Bring the legs up. Please don't put tension on your groins. You can always do this variation, which is much more gentle. We're going to be into our obliques now, so in a quick series, all obliques next. Bring your hands behind you, take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, twist to the right side, bring the knee in towards you, left leg straight. Inhale, back to center, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, pick up the legs, curl spine, exhale, inhale, both legs 90, exhale. Inhale, exhale, last time in, last time out. Inhale, center, exhale, put the feet on the ground. You don't come up yet. Don't come up yet. Stay curl. Bring your arms in a dream of genie. Level your elbows. Take a deep inhale, shoulder scene. Exhale, twist to the right side. Really squeezing right this line. Inhale, center, curl. Exhale. Inhale, relax your flexors, hold your belly. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. Oh, scoop, scoop, scoop. Abs of steel. Powerhouse. Inhale. 
Let it burn, baby. Exhale. Go, go, go. Oh. Inhale. Exhale. You're done. Inhale, center. On the exhale, let's return to the center right here. Take a deep breath. Go all the way up. And on the exhalation, let's go into butterfly position. Hmm. Breathe in your back, mid back, upper back. On the exhale, you let go. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, roll up, 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 up. Stand butterfly. Please release your arms by your sides. Right ear over the right shoulder, hand over your neck. We're going to call a uh, half an hour quick workout with Anna. Don't worry, even if it has a uh, half an hour, I think you spend a lot of calories and sweat. Extend your arms sideways and reach to the tip of your fingertips. And it's good you have a shorter routine. Sometimes we are not granted a whole hour of our time. So half an hour is so very handy to have them there. Take a deep breath in. On the exhalation, we're going to let the head go down. Half circle forward over to the other side. These stretches are important at the end. Lift up chest right here. Bring your hand over and stretch. Oh, yes. That feels really good into your neck. Hold. Hold in one. Hold in two. And last, inhale. Go forward, release your hand. On the exhale, bring your head up, extension on your neck, interlace your hands, hands on that round part of the skull. We're closing here. Inhale, open, open, open. And on the exhalation center, go back into your scoop back, grab the ankles, take a deep breath, seal, exhale, go up. And like a beautiful seal, we give each other a round of applause. We say thank you to ourselves, our strengths, and our bodies. Bravo. Good. Burning little workout. Have it there in your archives. You can see it anytime under your membership, drishtisanter.com. This was Anna. Great to spend this time with you. Great sweat. Great strength. Namaste. Bye-bye.